Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about biodiversity hotspot. First of all, let's break up the terms and try to understand their meanings. The first term we encounter is biodiversity. As we all know, diversity means variety, variability, dissimilarity, multiplicity. And when we prefix this diversity word with bio, we mean here variety and variability of life on earth. The life includes all living organisms. And here particularly we talk about species biodiversity when we talk about biodiversity hotspots. And nowadays we also include ecological and genetic biodiversity also. And on the other hand, the hotspot literally means a place of significant activity, danger, violence or disturbance. So scientifically we can say hotspot is a place or area that is vulnerable or threatened to destruction. Combining both the terms, we say biodiversity hotspot is a biogeographic region with significant levels of biodiversity that is threatened with destruction. Now let's see how we came up with the idea of biodiversity hotspot. We all are sure that earth is in a great danger and is always seeking our attention to make it a harmonious place like it used to be in the past. The humans are extracting its benefits from earth without caring for the future generations. We are now like a parasite on earth. The planet earth has got loads of problems with our activities. It has got habitat destruction, in which the natural habitat is rendered unable to support the species present. In this process, the organisms that previously used the site are displaced or destroyed, reducing biodiversity. Then we have deforestation which is the removal of forest or stand of trees while the land is thereafter converted into a non-forest use. Then we have another problem that is overpopulation of specific species like Homo sapiens. All other species are on a decline mode but we the humans are always increasing in number thereby creating an imbalance in nature. And to some extent we can also include ocean acidification which is the ongoing decrease in the pH of Earth's oceans. Then we have desertification, also ozone depletion. And to cap these problems, we have a mother of all problems, that's climate change also. All these factors, all these elements lead to the destruction of ecosystem, the destruction of whole flora and fauna on planet Earth. The Earth is too big to get attention at once for all. We have limited time. We have limited resources to curb the biodiversity loss. So to overcome these problems, it was back in 1988, Norman Mayors came up with the idea of biodiversity hotspots. He said Earth's biologically richest and most endangered terrestrial ecoregions are the biodiversity hotspots and needs our attention. To qualify as a biodiversity hotspot on Mayors 2000 edition of the hotspot map, a region must meet two strict criteria. First one, it must contain at least 1500 species of vascular plants as endemics or we can say 0.5% of vascular plants as endemics. And second criteria is it has to have lost at least 70% of its primary vegetation. So the question arises here, why 1500 species of vascular plants? It is because plants are the primary producers, they are the autotrophs and all other organisms depend on them and ecosystem strength is measured in its primary productivity. At present there are at least 35 designated hotspots all over the globe as you can see in this map. The blue ones shown on the map are newly added hotspots. So this is all about biodiversity hotspot. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.